Hmm. I mean, I can't return. No, fuck it. Fuck it. Continue the story. Hmm. Still no magic around this area. I think I only ever used like one push if they prefer, right? I think that was pretty good. All things considered, I think that was pretty good. I mean, I do like playing around with the skills, especially like counter, parry mechanics. Toggle, what is it? Nothing good, I'll wager. Come on. Oh no, no, no! The town, Lady Hannah. It's like Kakariko Village all over again, man. If it's on fire and shit, like as soon as you enter. Yeah, that's fucked. Oh yeah, there's fire. Yeah, that's fucked. Oh no. What happened here? Take him out! Imperials! You'll pay for this! What? Get over here. Oh my god, that charge is fabulous. Oh dude, that charge is amazing. Alright, let's let's combine it. Oh. Alright, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. They all deserve to die. Oh man. Oh man, that, that skill is so cool. Okay. I, I think I can switch out the orbs though. Like it's it's cool, but I like the heat wave way too much. Ah! I can't change it in combat. Fuck you. That's only fair. Thought you could escape us, did you, Branded? You were born a slave, and you'll die one. Kill all the ducal dogs. That's so much damage, man. Now they're innocent fucking people, man. Oh, let's go. Yo, you build up the limit break so quick in this game. Holy shit. God, that is so sexy, man. Ooh. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Oh, that's so sick! Oh, oh my goodness, this game is so sick! Oh fucking hell, that that might that might be my new favorite skill, honestly. Oh dude, that skill is amazing. It's such a cool skill, man. All must burn! The bearers and those who sheltered them. By Empress Annabella's command! All right, all right. My mother ordered this. Oh, I'm definitely paying attention to you, buddy. You can wait. Woo! 
I did not expect that. Oh, that's sick. I can't, I can't uh, dash cast out of it though. Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool, man. Oh, I got hit there for sure. Oh, let's go. Oh, dude. Very sloppy, I know, I know, I know, I know. Oh. Okay, so it does let you cancel the charge. All you have to do is press like, I thought you had to cancel it with the dodge. But... Oh, that's interesting, man. Ah, oh, so many cool skills. Gav! Clive! Yo, Gav is, Gav is a G, dude. Like, literally a G. Acting on the orders of the Duchess, eh? We knew East Pole was harboring bearers. Thought they were safe enough hidden up here. But someone must have let slip. If they'd have only come to us sooner, none of this would have had to happen. Fuck! My mother always did despise bearers. The way father embraced them when the other nations spat on them as slaves. The way an accident of birth gave them a power that others lacked. But why kill everyone? They meant no harm. They just wanted to be free. This world judges that a crime punishable by death. Which is why we're going to change it. Gav. We want to help. Thought you'd got your own stuff to be getting on with. We do. But it can wait. In that case, we should head back and tell Sid you've had a change of heart. He was always on it yet to join us. All right. And we'd best be quick. Last I heard, he was planning another excursion. What about the villagers? Oi! Can I leave you's lot to take care of things here? Of course. We'll make sure they get a proper burial. Thank you. All of you. When you're ready, then. Oh. Now, rats, lead me to your nest. 
Lord Kupka's message for your leader. If only he knew where to send it. <laughs> Man, man's got a giant fucking forehead. You might want to get that checked in. Holy shit, dude. Yo, okay, so here's what's gonna happen. Not Martha's Rest. Where the fuck is it? This one here. The one literally with the giant marker that it didn't say. Oh, dude. Tyson's just gonna come in. Kupka. He he all he needs to do is just stick his foot in there. They're all dead. That's it. Oh fuck, man. You expected that to happen with the free people there, but still. To Sid Sola then. We have a lot to discuss. Unless there's side quests, unless there's side quests. No, there's no more side quests. Fuck, man. I like side quests. I heard Otto barking at his lot earlier. Didn't sound happy. What do you suppose it could be? All right, but I gotta check. I gotta check if we have more shit. So we don't have this one yet. It, I, I, I'm pretty sure it might be boss fights. Unless stage replay covers that as well. So you can actually earn items, forgotten items, sorry, EXP, AP, or retry missed achievements. Yeah, that's sick. I wonder if it'll let me do the boss fight though. Eye of the Tempest is definitely the Garuda one. This is the one with the ninja in it. This is the one with the... Not the one with the Dragoon. This was the human Garuda. Yeah, human Garuda. Which one was uh, King's Fall? The one where you're saving Gav, right? Yeah. Oh, that's so sick. And the arcade mode, I saw. Ooh! Look at those thumbnails, man. I, I kind of, I, I honestly, I kind of want to try one right now. Like, I'm not going to lie. Oh. Okay, like, like the ninja fight was so sick, man. Human Garuda was sick. Icon Garuda was sick. You got the Dragoon with the little Drake dude. This fight was absolutely fucking amazing, man. Holy shit, I'm surprised it's not like way later in the game. So you can even turn off the cutscenes, right? Okay. Ah. Hall of Virtue is where the you did the training thing. You know, I'll um I'll try the I'll try I'll try the first one. Okay, so it's not going to let me change the equipment. I might as well do it now. Like, like the... The wisps are nice, but heat wave for the projectile deflection. Uh, Scarlet Cyclone or heat wave. No, sorry, or ignition. Ignition is really cool, but... Like, you're so committed, whereas Scarlet Cyclone, I can even use it during their st while they're staggered, right? Does get a lot of willpower damage too. Another counter and then the uppercut, as I like to call it. I'll do that. I'll do that for now. Okay. Let's uh let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. Oh, I should have turned off the cutscenes. I've already seen them all anyway, so. I suppose not. Oh, sorry, I thought it was just a boss fight at the end. That's kind of sick, though, man. Did I mention the big deadly beast? I mean, I guess I can just kind of speed run. Be deadly beast. Like I've already got the That's items that I need here anyway, so. I did not get a single. Oh, this is so messy. Okay, okay, we got an A, we got an A for now. Alright, this is sick. Oh, this is so sick. This is so sick.
<laughs> oh, I got hit once, man. Fuck it. Damn it. See that? Ah. Doesn't happen to be a friend of yours, does he? Oh, because that was a parry. That was a parry. Woo! Oh, dude, What's I want to fight the I want to fight the ninja though, man. I want to fight the ninja. I want to fight the ninja. Where is the last one? Fuck, man. Shit, all right. No, it doesn't. All right, all right. Is it like a SSS? Oh, this is what I was talking about, man. Like the fucking ratings. This was what I was talking about. Yeah, fuck Kuka. Fuck Titan, man. Let me just replay all the boss fights and areas before. Yeah, this is the one. Where does go? Fuck, I, I don't know why I pressed that. I, I honestly don't know why I pressed it. This should take too long. So much for your shortcut. Still short, just not quite as quick. But it will be a downside quicker if you help me. I thought exactly. Look at this, so cute! Ooh. Dude, I really wanted to finish it off with the uh, limit break, but that was still cool. That was still very cool, man. That was sick, man. That was sick. Dude, fuck, this game is awesome. Who's your enemy? How is he not dead? That's, that's so cool, man. The air version of that. Oh, dude. Oh, man. Clive is just such a brutal character. Oh, a little bit sloppy, I know. Let's go. Ah, the camera effects, man. They're just it's so sick. It really gets you into it, you know? It makes it so epic. Oh, 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 oh. Woo, 
that was a deadly mistake. Oh, I thought I got it. I thought I got the counter. Oh, I've never seen that. That's so sick. Or maybe I did see it on the first try. Dude, that was such a sloppy fight, man. Everything else up until this point was fine, though, but that was such a sloppy fight. Ah, damn it, man. Damn it. Holy shit, what is this? Oh, ho, ho. let's go. No damage during the entire battle. I definitely suffered damage, but I guess I didn't get the... Uh, the S rank colored version. I'm not really too sure how it works. Attack without pause. Two enemies simultaneously. Increased damage to 1.5. 20 or more seconds for a combo. Whoo! Semi primed. Parried an attack. Executed precision dodge. Deadly embrace. Kill the target with deadly embrace. The Garuda's grab thing. The execution when they're knocked down. Magic burst 50 times. Magic magic burst is just so cool, man. The cancels in between the attacks, you know? Yo, this is cool. This is so cool, man. <laughs> there we go. First attempt, 1.2 million. Let's go, man. I probably could have done a lot better, but... It is what is. It is what is. Dude, I'm going to have so much fun just, like, trying to beat my own score with the different abilities and just replaying the same sequences with other combinations of gear and said abilities, you know? That's like the coolest fucking thing about this game. I heard Otto barking at his love earlier. Hmm. I did get a new orchestration though, I'm pretty sure. There's one that I got, this one. I want to say hi to the, uh, the Koopo. And he's not here. Beautiful. So what can I do... Well, ...with the Ifrit material? With Ifrit's material that I got, can I do anything with it? Hmm, I guess not. But yeah, if they're setting up Titan to be the next, uh, fight... Oh, dude. How is Ifrit gonna size up for Titan? Because, like, Shiva was, like, the size of his finger. Right? Like, that's a regular size of an icon. Like, Titan's finger. We can keep running. Or we can walk through this door. So if Ifrit was supposed to do Hellfire against Titan, are you gonna summon, like, a fireball the size of a city? Like, is that the only option? I mean, that'd be sick. This place is getting more crowded by the day. I tell myself the bustle's a blessing. There'll be time enough for quiet contemplation when I'm dead. So, did you find the answers you were looking for? I still don't know what to make of this... gift, curse, or whatever it is I've been given. But there is one thing I can say for certain. I am a dominant, Ifrit, and there is nothing I can do to change that. It is a burden I must bear until my dying day. <laughs> Spoken true. Forgiveness and in turn salvation can only begin with acceptance. It's a path we all must walk, no matter how colorful our histories. Sid, you once told me 
that you wanted to build a place where people could die on their own terms. I did. I've been thinking about that. Why not a place where people can live on their own terms? For 13 years, killing was all I knew. So obsessed with death that I never stopped to consider the lives of those around me. Lives that I see now were scarcely worth living. Be they bearers or beggars, most but march blindly to their end, never realizing that they too deserve a choice. And I dare not turn a blind eye to their suffering any longer. So, atonement then, is it? That was the answer we found. The only one we need. I'll be expecting you both to pull your weight. And we will. <laughs> well then, with a sprinkle of fire and ice, this plan of mine might just work. Oh, the Final Fantasy theme! <sighs> what trouble are you looking to get yourself into now? The best kind. We're going to sneak into the Imperial capital and pay a visit to Mother. Yo, I miss Sid, man. It's been like an hour or two since we've had Sid at any of the cutscenes. Oh, fuck. Ooh! Look at this beautiful fucking city. And the last of our farmholds in the eastern provinces has succumbed to the blight. Without their yield, we will be hard pressed to fill the capital's granaries before winter. If there is a capital by then, the black creeps closer as we speak. And yet you do naught but fall and bluster. If it is fertile land the Empire requires, we need but look south. Uh, if you mean the crystalline Dominion's holdings, we are bound by mutual accord. Theirs is a neutral state whose borders we have sworn to respect. Gentlemen. Did we swear to see our people starve? Well, I really do think that... Uh, uh, yeah, well, I, 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 <laughs> the gates of Oriflam buckle at the flood of those come seeking refuge from the blight. If there is not grain enough to feed those within our walls, how, pray tell, will we feed those without? But instead of setting your minds to riddles such as these, you lock horns with an enemy from across the sea, sending our soldiers to the slaughter in their thousands. The Empire bleeds, and you sit here prattling like crones in a tea house. And you fancy yourselves leaders of men. Sandbreck is naught without her citizens. We are but their servants. If their land is being wrested away, it is our duty to claim new lands for them. Your radiance! You cannot mean a war of conquest. That is exactly what I mean. It is time we expanded our dominion. This is the will of great Grieger. There will be uproar. Then we must find a way to distract the citizenry. But how much will that cost? And what of our legions? Shall we raise the furs? Well, someone will have to contend with the Dalmex. I will not keep you. You all have much to do.
Where is my son? The Lord Prince is currently garrisoned at the Strait of Arthur. If it please you, I can send word requesting his immediate return to the Holy Capital. That won't be necessary. Tell him instead to see to his wounds. Bahamut's strength will be needed again soon. As you command. Damn, the council people are kind of useless, man. I must have misheard. You mean to tell me that the Mother Crystals are the reason the world is dying? Are you mad? I have been called that on occasion, but no, not today. We've all seen it firsthand. Empty wastes where once were green meadows. Land drained so dry of its ether, not even the rats remained. But where was it all going? I spent years searching for an answer until I saw it standing right in front of me. There, in the self same crystals, we looked to for their so called blessing. All right, listen. Take this crystal. How does it allow us to conjure magics? Answer, by drawing ambient ether from the air. And where do these crystals come from? That's easy. They're mined from the mother crystals. They're one and the same. Although, admittedly, this air fits more easily in the pocket. But the mother crystals are massive. Some as large as mountains. So you see the problem. Imagine just how much ether can be drawn by something that size. As to where it's all going, mind, well, I can't know everything, can I? We are taught that the Mother Crystals are divine. Their ether a gift from the heavens. For centuries, nations have fought and fallen for want of that gift. If what you say is true, how did no one else see it? Those they didn't. Maybe the truth was inconvenient. Inconvenient to whom, exactly? The higher ups? The gods themselves? So now you want to do something about the crystals? And what? We're not helping bearers and dominance anymore. I didn't say that. I made a promise, and I intend to keep it. But if we continue down this path, there's only one fate that awaits the realm. And we can't very well set our people free if they're all lying dead in a blighted ditch. Not if we want to create a place where they can live on their own terms anyway. Sort of defeats the purpose. So, if we have to bring the old world crashing down in order to build us a new one... What say you? Are you with me? It's a good table! Don't ruin the table! I suppose it's about time I repaid your faith. could have just said I. But it's nice to have you aboard all the same. Dude, the whole time I'm just imagining like there's this giant earthquake and we're like, what the fuck? And it's Titan. What have I got myself into? I'm going to need more than a few potions for this. Item, 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 Sid. Give me your fucking items, man. If everything we were taught about the Mother Crystals was a lie, then what else might we have been deceived about? I'll give you two a moment to sort out your kit. It's a long walk to Oriflam. I wouldn't want you keeling over on the way. If everything we were taught about the Mother Crystals... Okay, so if I can actually farm ability points... Then I could just spend some time replaying all the other stuff and then just kind of unlock all this shit, right? Oh, 
A side quest though, man. I am a side quest kind of guy. Hey, you're going into a war? Help me find my rat. There's six of them scattered all around the world. And then you come back, he gives you like 200 gold, and it's like, alright, off to your war. It's like, fuck. You've lost a letter. Nothing too important, I hope. Not just a letter. I lost everything. It can't be that bad, surely. That letter I lost? It was for Sid. A letter he's been waiting on for days. Maybe if you retrace your steps. I'd scour storm from coast to coast if I could, but there are curse breakers in the field, counting on my arrival. No. I'll just have to own up to Otto and Sid. They're gonna skin me alive. Hmm. Kinda wanna say it's not my problem, but... Fine. Tell me where to look. It's kind of weird with the outfit Clive has now, accepting uh, side quests, because it's almost the equivalent of like a mailman asking Batman right? to deliver his shit. Have you come for a tale? Hey, even his pixels updated with like the new armor. This, I believe you will find most interesting. Ah. Okay, that's that's actually a lot to read. No, um, give me the phoenix and then give me. Elwin's the father. No, go back to. No, 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 no. Night of the Flames. I wanna, I wanna see the fucking. Masked man. Oh, look at all these tabs that I'm opening. Holy shit, look at all these tabs, dude. Oh my god. Okay, there's a limit. <laughs> god damn it, there is a limit. Yeah, that's a lot of people. So, is this guy Odin? Yeah, dominant of Odin, okay. The king of Walud. And then Kupka with that fucking ass chin. Holy shit, there's still so many more people, man. I love how he's like all the way in the back though. Like all the way in the back. Hmm. Oof. 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 Wait. So there's one more. After Ifred and Phoenix. That's kind of sus, man. That's kind of sus, you know? Like like reborn Phoenix or some shit, dude. You? you are always welcome, Clive. It never is. Where are you, Randall? I'm worried about my friend. You see, he left some time ago and hasn't returned. All right, let's get the side quests over with. You know how it is, man. They give good rewards. Get the shit over with. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know which side quest I'm doing right now. The courier said his pack might have split while he was passing through the bales. I better keep my eyes open. Good. Looks like I'm in the right area. How did he how did he get it scattered across everywhere? More of the lost supplies. It's like almost physically not possible. Much more in his pack. Still no sign of Sid's letter, though. I've come this far. Might as well ask around. A little overdressed to be picking grapes, aren't you? Are you here for Master Quentin? I'm looking for a letter someone dropped nearby, and I suppose you've seen it. Can't say I have. Sorry. Well, if you do. Wait. I did pass a dog with something in its mouth a little while back. Could have been a piece of paper. No idea if it was your letter, but you never know. Which way did it go? Towards Lost Wing. 
Seemed well looked after to me. Dare say someone there's been feeding it. To the village then. Thank you. So how does... How does the scabbard work for his sword? I've always been curious about how he pulls it out and puts it back in. When it's... On a leather strap mechanism. Hmm. Hmm. I guess that is kind of convenient. Because, like, they're both right next to each other. Yeah, holy shit. Yeah, you got the two quests in the same fucking area. Wow. So this is the Imperial. I have no fucking idea what that is. No fucking idea what that is. No fucking idea what that is. And that is where Joshua died. Doggy! Bony as fuck, man. It seems we have our culprit. Sorry, boy. Someone's waiting for this. And he's waiting long enough already. You know, just, just kick him in the face, man. Hopefully this will keep our career out of trouble. Ah, if it isn't... I'm looking for a bearer called Randall. I hear he's been coming to you for work. He was expected back at the hideaway some time ago. A friend of his asked me to check on him. Though, thinking about it, he should probably have been back by now. I'll go and look for him. Where was he headed? Clive? Am I going the right way? Am I going the right way? I feel like I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, give me that two fucking gill, man. Give me that shit. Are you all right? The hanged man. Thank the gods. You're one of us. We were attacked. Beast men on the road. Randall knew he didn't play the hero, but. <coughs> The sod insisted on drawing him off. Where did this happen? Further down the road. In the clearing. Please. You have to see that he's safe. I'll do what I can. You go back to Lost Wing and tell Quentin what happened. Oh, let's go. Goblins. Why am I not surprised? Oh, hello. Okay, baby. Oh, my reaction speed is not what it used to be. Oh, I tried to do like five in a row. Damn it. It almost worked. It almost worked. Yeah, I don't know what's better, like the regular auto attack or like a charge attack in that limit break state. If I wasn't, if I wasn't so hungry for like the counters and parries, I could, I could play this entire game without getting hit once. I fucking guarantee you. But I love that shit because it's so stylish, man. <clears throat> Let's just uh, <laughs> ignore that the body's there. Hmm. 
Man, he got fucked up. Sorry, Randall. Looks like I was too late. He doesn't deserve to rot by the roadside. I'll speak to Quentin. Man, he got fucked up. Can I teleport back? Ah, you know what? You know what? I do, I do. I do, I do, I do want to play around with the ignition. Yeah, let's do that. You know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. I haven't done gouge in a long time either. Scarlet Cyclone. I don't even know why I have you. I'm not even fucking using you. Wicked Wheel can take that out. Put Heat Wave back on. Yeah, that's fine. Ah, there you are. My man. Damn it. For your trouble. It's so weird when you hear the ambient noise just disappear, like you think the game glitched out, only to have like the, the quest complete. Like there's no transition in the audio, like it's just so jarring. Maybe I should just... Oh, there you are. There you are. I just got back to the hideaway and thankfully Otto hasn't seen me yet. I, I don't suppose you, um... Found the things you dropped. I did. I was so sure they'd be gone. And the letter? Only a little worse for wear. What if I don't hand it over? What if I'm just a piece of shit, man? <sighs> no more skulking about in the shadows for me, then. <laughs> and all thanks to you. Losing those supplies was one thing, but if Sid had found out about that letter... Is it about Cursebreaker business? Uh, if only. It's from his daughter. She's off studying in Canver, and her letters are all that keep Sid sane while she's away. He never mentioned a daughter. Oh, well, he's a busy man. And thanks to you, he won't be wasting his time smiting careless couriers with leaven boats. So I'd say you did us both a service. Here, for your troubles. If there's anything you're wanting from Sid, today's the day. He'll be sweet as honey once he gets his hands on this. Wanted to send a message. I don't even know what I got. Did he just give me money? Shit, I wasn't paying attention. Not at all. Clyde, was it? Okay, it looks like doing some side quests oh. unlocks more recipes. Is that what's so happening right now? Be. Yeah, flame tongue. Okay, okay. Ooh. So you're telling me I have to craft this to craft that. But like, is there any guarantee later in the game I don't get fucked on the materials? I am very curious to see what they do look like though. Ah, fuck it, fuck it. I'm gonna do a quick save. Fuck it. Fuck it. I gotta know. I gotta know. First playthrough, honestly, I, I don't like to experiment as much, but like... But Flame Tongue looks fucking sick. Look at the That's design gracious, on the thumbnail, right? man. That looks fucking dope. Anything else? See, that looks pretty good. I don't know if you can really see it. Oh, I guess I can do photo mode. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't look too bad. More like a super long rape here, though. But the one I really want. Well, yeah, well get the fuck so away from me. It last you a good while. Yeah, because it replaces it automatically. Anything else? Okay. Oh man, that coloring looks sick, though. Holy shit. Look at this bad boy. Not as thick as the one I had before. That sounds a little weird, but... It's got a very... Ifrit-esque. 
You could light like a little bonfire right at the tip there. You know what? Fuck it. Let's go with it. Experiment. Fuck it. And not regret it later. I hope I don't regret it later. So what God's forsaken corner of the realm is Sid dragging you off to this time? Oriflam. The holy capital. And what business would you lot having? On second thoughts, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I don't- uh, Imagine- Imagine she sells the fucking sword. And I don't need to use the materials. I would've lost my shit. Cause some games do that man, some games fuck you over. Like hey, look at this item that you can buy and then you just get fucked. Heatwave cooldown by 2.7. I'd rather take this than the um... Oh, I only have 16,000 though. Fuck it, fuck it, I hope I, it doesn't bite me in the ass. I hope it doesn't bite me in the ass. Blind, you know. Speaking of Oriflam, I hear the trading routes leading south have seen more than double the usual traffic. If you ask me, some at Fowl's Brewing, and it in tires Borbile Tea. Oh, just go and see Otto, will ya? Alright. She's speaking in fucking riddles, man. Yeah, but... But I, I favor cooldown reduction over anything. Heatwave damage. No, take that shit out. Take that shit out. I do have heatwave, right? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Fuck it. Just gonna do another quick save. Fuck it. Take a seat, Clive. I'll fa so you really go through with it? Since been talking about bringing down a mother crystal, since I've known him. But that's all it's ever been. Talk. He's convinced it's the right thing to do. We'll be leaving for the capital shortly. <sighs> well, you couldn't have picked a better moment. Seems the eye in the Royalists gave him wasn't enough to dampen old Sylvester's spirits. His legions are on the march again. This time, due south. Another war. All as the great Grieger wills it. Bloodthirsty little miss, that one. Well, that's gods for you, innit? Still, might work to our advantage on this occasion. Wars breed chaos. Chaos. On the front lines... I must find chaos. With a fair wind behind them, a handful of like-minded ne'er-do-wells could melt into the back alleys of Oriflam. No trouble. Is making it to the capital that's the problem. The checkpoint. That's right. Anyone traveling in or out of Oriflam has to go through Northreach. Lucky for you, I might just know of a way. This. Well, no, not that. That gets you an audience with the Dame. And it's the Dame who'll see you safely through Northreach. I'll send the Stolas in the morning, let her know you're coming. We go way back, and she's a true friend of the cause. I'm sure you'll get on like a house on fire. That's good of you, but... Who is this dame, and where will I find her? She's the proud proprietress of Northreach's foremost house of ill repute. The Vale. And she's quite a woman, if you know what I mean. A woman? Right. <laughs> Don't go blind, you know, with your charm now, lad. I'll be expecting a full report when you get back. I only respond to Sid. Thank you very much. Who the fuck are you, Titus looking motherfucker? It's like Titus got isekai into Final Fantasy 16. And they don't have Blitzball, so he's just a bum. So is this like... Side content shit? I suppose that's everything. Now to find Gav. Yeah, you're looking at me funny. Oh, you're the new lad, aren't you? Goat at your service. Well, at the hideaway service anyway. Otto's put me in charge of reading through the reports sent in by our allies and picking out any problems that might warrant the attention of the curse breakers. Or any other willing oh, volunteers. like bounty system. And there's no shortage of problems, I can tell you. <laughs> well, maybe I don't have to. <laughs> I'll warrant a strapping lad like you who's got people begging him for help wherever you go. 
Anyway, if you're ever interested in taking a look over the list, just say the word. Reckon you could probably tick off the odd thing here and there. They say little acts of kindness are their own reward. But if that ain't enough, these have got proper bounties on them and all. Interesting. Here you go. Interesting. Wait, what am I doing? Hmm. Sure, let's try, uh... Wait, I'm traveling to it right away though, right? So it's not really like a bounty thing, it just sends me into the location of the side quest right away, is that what's happening? So it's just giving me an easier access to see where side quests are available. Yeah. Dude, at this rate, I'm never gonna get the fucking main story done. I know that for a fact, I have a very bad tendency to just do a lot of side shit. And I like sight shit. Oh, you're Sid's man, if I'm not mistaken. Couldn't trouble you for some assistance, could I? It depends. What do you need? Some new bearers if from only they would just, just arrived, talk faster, you know? Cost Master Quinton a pretty penny to convince their owner to part with them. Man must have been a bloody tyrant. I can't get a peep out of them. Try as I might. They're probably terrified of you. <laughs> You're probably right. They say it'd take a bearer like yourself to open them up. So, will you have a word with them? Help them settle in? I can try. That'll do me. Tell them they're safe, and that if they need anything, they just have to ask. I'll let them know. Appreciate it. They're sitting over there, taking a long overdue Like, right break, next like. to him. They can overhear the entire conversation, man. What the fuck are you talking about? They're right there. How delusional can you fucking be? What? So you're the new arrivals. Is there anything I can get you? You're safe here. They don't punish people like us for speaking our minds. Truly. I'm hungry. My sister too, we're starving. Wait here. I'll fetch you something from the tavern. <sighs> Thank you. I won't be long. You stay here and rest. Alright, time to... That's kind of sweet, though, man. Because you're a bearer. You're setting an example. You're letting them know that it's okay. But, like, we're picking up the quest right next to the people in question. So it's kind of a bit of an awkward scenario, because they can overhear everything. of whatever you're serving. Sorry. We have enough mouths of our own to feed without tending to the wants of outsiders. It's not for me. It's for some new arrivals. Oh, my apologies. I didn't see the mark. So you're a comrade. Well, in that case, you may have whatever you require. Take all the bread and wine you want. That's really all it takes. One look at the innkeeper's mark. Of course it is. I do as Master Quinton commands, as do we all. And Master Quinton commands that none of his favored guests be left wanting. Well, don't keep our new comrades waiting. Take what you need and see that they eat their fill. Why don't I just bring them here? Bread and wine. Oh, yeah. Yeah, shove it in your pocket. However that works, man. I would love to see Clive holding out a dish. Like, making sure he doesn't bump into other people walking by and, like, dropping it and shit. Like, that would have been funny. It would have been a pain in the ass to restart the quest, but, you know, that would have been funny. Like a guy in Batman armor holding out gear. Holding out a meal. What manner of place is this? Yeah. Bread and wine from the tavern. What if I don't hand it over? Where are you pulling it out Thank from? Me. 
Truly. Dude, there's no. <sighs> Damn it! That's the best Such part. Plenty. Never in all my days. Brother, this place is like a dream. We sat and no one shouted. We ate and more was offered. I know. I can't believe it. You're free now. And the next time you're hungry, you need only ask to be fed. Thank you for everything. Thank you. That was kind of nice, though. All right, what can you give me? 15 EXP kill bug. I... I don't know if I want to sell them, man. I mean, it's like the material. Ah, oh, fuck it. I'll sell them. I'll sell them. That's like the the Garuda and the Efrit materials. Obviously, I didn't want to use it on the off chance that it's safe for something else. But fuck it, man. You never know. I kind of like the fact that you upgrade the Garuda sword into the Efrit sword, so you don't feel like Must you're be being Clinton. outdated and shit. If I don't save that crop. I want no trouble. Wait, wait, that's... Oh, glory to Grega. You were the hanged man. I took you for a rogue. If you're a friend of Master Quinton's, then perhaps you'll help me. His vineyard, Lost Wing's pride and joy, has been beset by a plague of giant wasps. Yay, extermination quest. Bro, like... How are we going to save the world if we don't fight for grapes? Grapes are a top tier fruit. Is it faster to teleport from the bottom or the left? I guess it doesn't really matter. Like you're sitting down with the king of the imperial, Radiance, whatever this fucking name is. How are you going to win him over? That must be the vineyard. Fucking wine, baby. If you wasp shouldn't give me too much trouble. All you need is some fucking wine, baby. God, that sword looks sick, man. Dude. That's sick. Ooh. God damn. God damn. No way, I can do, I can do this. Ah, damn it. Not enough height. Not enough height. Oh, that's so cool. Jill, I can't- I can't see anything! Jill, I can't see anything! What is your malfunction? Damn it, Jill. I, I thought that- I thought that was Looks a like that was cool finisher. One. I better let Quentin's man know. God damn it, man. I mean, it's nice that the side quests, they don't- They don't take too long. Honestly, the- The conversations like the cutscenes setting up the side quests take longer than the actual missions themselves. Like I don't I don't mind the cutscenes, I don't mind the dialogue, but I'll, some of it is a little bit slow paced. It's like can you go fetch that for me? It's like all right, bye. And then there's like another 10 sentences of like thanks. I appreciate it. I'll be sure to do something for you when you come back. It's like dude, let me go. Let me fucking go. Those wasps <laughs> won't be interfering with your harvest anymore. Oh, thank you. <laughs> he did it in like Master 30 Quentin seconds. would have had my head if I'd lost the crop. I'd say you've earned a reward. Our goat and Rouge fetches a handsome price among the rich and powerful of the realm. We use that money to keep our comrades fed 
and imperial wolves from our door. The vineyards were Master Quinton's idea. He wanted to give bearers a place to work, a place where they'd be safe. Well, he certainly seems to have done that here. I'm glad I could help. I'll see that he hears of your kindness. And once this vintage is ripe for drinking, there'll be a glass or two raised in your honor. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. Alright, give me those materials. Black blood, that is definitely first. Can be traded for gill. I don't know if I want to. You never know if an item that says it's purposely meant for gill can be used in the future. You actually never know. Because you're going to regret it forever. Because you can only get one per game. I hate those fucking games, man, where it's like... Oh, if you save this material that you got in the beginning of the game, up until like 90% of the way through, you could have got a secret rare item. That's also part achievement. But you wouldn't know that on your first playthrough. It's like, fuck, man. It's Avon. It's done for. I've seen your face before. You're a friend of Martha's. Help us, I beg you. Hey, hey chill, Help chill. Help you with what? Bandits in the Golden Stables. They're waving their swords around. I think they're gonna kill someone. When I saw what was happening, I slipped out the back. I should have stayed, but oh, please help them. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry, I can't right now. All right. Oh, I should have done it. I'll see to your problem. I should have done it just to see his reaction. How many were there? I was out of the door too fast to count. They looked a nasty bunch, though. Be careful in there, all right? I don't imagine. They'll have you fight people inside the tavern. Like, there, this is a non-combat area. Unless I can just, like, punch him out, you know? Ha! Golden stables my ass. All Martha's hiding back here is coppers. Huh? Oh, that's a fine sword, friend. Heavy, though, I expect. What say we relieve you of it? Oh, I'm actually fine. Oh! Wait, 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 wait. How, how badly or how fast do I want to kill them? That's the biggest question. Oh. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, get him, Torgold. Get him, Torgold. Fucking cute bastard. I won that play. Woo! I just destroyed the tavern, man. I am not paying the repair bills. I just saved people's lives, dude. I'll be keeping my blade, thank you. There he is! The hero of the Golden Stables! People will think twice about pushing us around again, thanks to you. We're lucky you were nearby. No good cowards wouldn't have dared set foot in the place if I'd been here, of course. But you weren't. I thought you told me you had someone watching the place. The Blood Axes keep an eye on the tavern, yeah. When they're not busy keeping the peace, that is. I've spread them as thin as they'll go. The Empire might be in charge, but that don't mean they care to keep us safe. If it weren't for the Blood Axes and me, merchants won't come near these lands for fear of what might happen to them. I see. Then you do Rosaria a great service. Just as you did today. You're a useful man to have around. Here. And there'll be a mug of something tasty waiting for you whenever you next stop by. Oh. Right. We've got work to do for to make this place presentable. You best be going before I arm you with a mop. What kind of, what kind of food we're we talking about here? Some uh, bread and wine or some uh, rotten cheese, you know? I mean, take your pick. Choose your poison. Man of the hour. You're 
the one who saw off the bandits, aren't you? Martha was singing your praises. Ah, it takes a brave man to march into danger out of the goodness of his heart. You have my respect. A Rosarian salute. Well, what is it they say? Old habits die hard. I trust you won't be reporting me to the Vicerine. <laughs> if we'd had a few more like you about, perhaps the Rosfields might still... <laughs> Listen to me rambling on. Thank you again, and... Uh, take care of yourself. Hmm. Hmm. Now, this is the fun part where you can just explore all the previous areas before. Is my marker... No, my marker isn't there anymore. The one with the... I Oh, I should visit that area. Because that's the one where it had, like, the, the Phoenix door. Or, sorry, like, the... Like, that crystal fucking door area that I couldn't do before. I'm not sure if I'll be able to open it again because there is no ether in this area. So, I'm not even sure if that... Is someplace I can access this early on? Well, honestly, there's only one way to find out. Yeah. Yeah, no fire version. I do like the materials though. It's like, it's super shiny. And it's like, it's fun going out of your way to pick them up. Yeah, so if there's no ether, will this even open? Oh, there is my answer. God damn it. Okay. So it'll only pop up green if there's a side quest available, right? That's actually good to know. Okay, what is this area? So I can't go back to Phoenix Rest, right? Nah, it doesn't look like it. Man, that fight with the that fight with the Iron Giant, that entire location was so sick. And then you have the Ifrit fight on top of that too. <laughs> <laughs> 